here is a problem which was posted on facebook and the, it is related on the coordinate geometry or analytical geometry here the question is if the points p and q two points on a line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 given line is x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the given straight line two points p and q on the line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 are at a distance of 5 unit both the points p and q are at a distance of 5 unit from the origin from the origin then find the area of the triangle opq o means here the origin uh, we have to find out the area of triangle opq first of all let us draw this uh, straight line on the xy plane let us make our um, xy plane or xy graph let us suppose this is origin and represented by o first of all for plotting this line this equation uh, this straight line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 we have to find out its x and y intercept and we know that for the x intercept y is equal to always 0 if we put uh, y is equal to 0 then we get x is equal to minus 1 then a point minus 1 comma 0 is a point on the x axis so the uh, because its intercept x intercept is minus 1 similarly for the y intercept uh, we have to put x is equal to 0 if we put x is equal to 0 then we get y is equal to value 1 then the point 0 comma 1 is on the y axis uh, because its intercept y intercept is equal to 1 unit by joining these two points we get a straight line we get a straight line uh, x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 now here the another given condition is uh, two points p and q lie on the these lines are at a distance of 5 unit from the origin this is one unit and this is one unit let us suppose that the five unit is here uh, and it is point q and then the point uh, p is located here on the straight line and the given that the both the points p and q are at a distance of five unit from the origin this distance is five unit and also this distance is five unit measured from the origin both the distance are equal to five unit now here we can see that uh, here uh, a triangle opq is formed here a triangle opq is formed which area which area uh, have to be calculated now for finding this area here we can see this triangle is isosceles triangle of um, of two side lengths equal side lengths five unit here a triangle opq is isosceles in nature and we know that for the isosceles triangle the area is calculated by using the formula area a is equal to base over 4 into square root of 4 a square minus b square where b is base and the a is the uh, known two side length of the two sides if a triangle is such that two sides are equal to a unit and the base is b unit then the area is calculated by using this formula similarly we can apply this formula for this isosceles triangle op q here the two equal sides are five unit the value of the a is here five unit but the value of the b is base side is unknown so first of all uh, we have to calculate the uh, base side pq of this triangle op q for pq for the distance of um, point p and q we have to first of all find out uh, the coordinates of point p and q for finding the coordinates of point p and q uh, uh, we can get the these points these two points by solving the locus of point p and q and another one is equation of straight line if we solve the locus of the points and the uh, straight line then we get the intersection point which is point p and q 
now for the locus of locus of point points p and q are same because the they both the uh, both of the points are at a distance of 5 unit from the origin and the if the uh, distance is uh, distance from the origin is given then uh, we can uh, we can find out the its locus and the uh, the points locus is here circular in nature and we know that the uh, equation of the circle when the uh, center is origin is x square plus y square is equal to radius square here the radius is 5 unit this is the equation or locus equation of locus for the points p and q both now solving this equation and another equation is here uh, equation of straight line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 solving both of the uh, both of the equations we get the points p and another point q now solving uh, here I, I am going to solve uh, these two equations by substitution method from 2 y is equal to x plus 1 and substituting this quantity on equation equation 1 we get x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 5 square is 25 or x square plus using the formula of a plus b whole square x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 25 or 2x square plus 2x this 25 comes here and becomes minus 25 minus 24 is equal to 0 this is the equation which is quadratic in x so the value of the x will be 2 the solution of the x will be 2 there are the two solutions for the quadratic equation any quadratic equations now solving for solving for x uh, in this quadratic equations we have we know that the quadratic equations can be solved by using the formula x is equal to minus p plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2 this is the solution for any quadratic equations here by comparing with uh, this equations with the general equation of quadratic equations ax square plus bx plus c we get all the values of a b and c here i am going to directly solve x is equal to minus p here first of all here uh, the two number is common for all the terms so uh, we cancel out the for the two and the equation is x square plus uh, x minus 2 bell is equal to 0 solving these equations by using this quadratic uh, quadratic solutions so we get here the x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2 into a here 1 minus minus plus 4 into 2 is 48 upon 2 into 1 is 2 uh, 1 plus 48 49 and the square root of the, root of the 49 is 7 minus 1 plus minus 7 upon 2 if we take the positive sign then we get the value of x is 3 if we take the negative signs minus 4 minus 1 minus 7 minus 8 divided by 2 minus 4 therefore the value of the x are 3 and minus 4 the value of the x are 3 and minus 4 and the at this condition the value of the y is equal to here the, we have a equation y is equal to x plus 1 x plus 1 if we take 3 3 plus 1 4 if we take minus uh, 4 then minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 so the points p is 3 comma 4 and the another point q is uh, minus 4 comma minus 3 these are the coordinates for the points p and q now for calculating the uh, base this base is here in the uh, this triangle isosceles triangle the base is pq so the for calculating the side length um, of the base 
we have to calculate the distance between the point P and Q because our uh, baseline is PQ. So, PQ is equal to by using the distance formula, we can calculate the length of PQ. Minus 4 minus 3 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here, um, 49 plus 49. 7 square root 2. This is the length of the side PQ. 7 root 2 unit. So, here we have already have the formula. It is equal to base by 4 uh, into square root of 4a square minus b square. By using this formula, by taking this formula, we can calculate the area from star. Here, the formula is written in equation star. So, the area is, area is b by 4. Here, the base is, here, the base is solution pq and the base is here 7 root 7 root 2 by 4 into square root of 4a square here the a is 5 unit 5 square is 4 into 5 square is 25 minus minus b square the value of the b is here 7 root 2 square this is square is 7 square is 49 into 2 here 25 into 4 100 minus 98 square root 2 and the square root 2 into square root 2 2 7 into 2 divided by 4 is equal to 7 by 2 square unit here we calculate the uh, area of this triangle this triangle OPQ is here how much 7 over 2 square unit or 3.5 this is equal to 3.5 3.5 square unit here the process is so uh, becoming lengthy but the all the all the factors are so easy so here we solve this equation by using this concept of isosceles triangle and uh, concept of low cost and similarly uh, concept of solving the equations to find out the intersection point etc. Now the answer is uh, 3.5 square unit. Thank you.